Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Aldo. You're probably a parent, a teacher, or perhaps even a teen yourself. In any case, you feel confounded by such unpredictable and volatile behavior and emotions which seems to change as fast as a runway's model and the parade of identities which seems to arise like tornadoes from out of the blue. So, can anybody tell me what caused all of this chaos and confusion? Okay, in this case, I will summarize some of the new research findings that shed light on this most vibrant phase of life in the teenager's brain. First of all, we're going to talk about the structure of the brain itself. I often describe it as an ice cream cone with two scoops on it. Okay, here's the real thing. The cone itself is the most important part of the brain, called the brainstem. It controls the basic functions such as alertness, breathing, blood pressure, and body temperature. Sitting on top of the cone sits the first scoop, the limbic system. It is involved in hormonal control, memory, and as well as automatic and usually unconscious emotional reactions. The second scoop, called the cortex, it is the planning, conscious, and thinking brain. So now we're going to move on to the changing phase of the teenager's brain. During the teen years, under the influence of massive new hormonal messages, the teenager's brain are being reshaped and reconstructed. Information highways are being speeded up. And this is called myelination. See it right here? Some old roots are being closed down. And this is called pruning. Some are rerouted and reconnected to other destinations. But above all of that, old information highways are making lots of new connections to other highways, other cities, or other towns. This is called sprouting. One of the most important things to remember is what a teen does is exposed to during this critical time in life has large influence on the teenager's future because experience and current needs shape the pruning and sprouting process in the brain. So if a teenager is playing lots of video games, this will shape the brain in such a way that they might become an excellent fighter pilot. But being an accountant, or researcher will be less possible. Being the class clown will help make a good salesperson later on. Running for class president will develop some brain skills that are needed to run a good business or maybe take on a management position. But here's the thing. Being exposed to drugs, computer sex, and violent movies will also shape the brain and the future of the adolescent, laying down the teeth of addictions and interpersonal conflict. Okay, we've come to the conclusion. The conclusion is, every teenager is unique. Every teenager is different and requires a different type of approach. If your teen is a diligent, smart, and responsible student, you might want to send them to college or maybe on a teen tour. But on the other hand, if they are showing much more signs of impulsivity, they might not be ready to be on their own with so much unrestricted freedom. So here's the thing. Drift to see what is the best quality for your teenager and help them find it out. It is the best way that you can do for the teenager you love. Thank you. I'm Ali Good afternoon.